Hello everyone and welcome to Tornos headquarters here in Moutier, Switzerland. I'm Brian from the Customer Care and Product Support. Today I'm going to present you the preventive maintenance plan for the Swiss Nano 4. I will teach you how to improve the machine efficiency to keep it running without interruption for a long period of time. If you apply all the recommendations we are going to cover in this video, you should see a clear improvement of the machine performance over the time. Not that all those recommendations are invaluable in your maintenance book. Let's start with the daily maintenance on your Swiss Nano 4. One thing you can apply every day on your machine is to remove all the chips in the working area. Before to clean the working area, you have to stop the oil. Then open the door. Take a brush and remove the chips from the top to the bottom. And when this area will be clean, you will have to remove the chip basket. When the working area is clean, you can open this door and remove this chip basket. You have to untie the two screws on both sides. Bring back the chips tank and then use the one you are, you are using in your workshop. and then reinstall it inside your machine. Don't forget to take the two screws that you removed before, otherwise the chip basket will move. And then close the door and your working area is clean. Another step of the daily maintenance is to check the level of the cutting oil in your main oil tank. Here you can see the level of the main tank and we can see that is not to the top. And now we will fill up to the top together. After the cutting oil has been checked, we have to check the level of the lubrification pump and do the same on the cooling unit. As you can see here, the level is not to the top and here is the same. Then use the VG68 to refill this unit. We will now talk about the maintenance to perform every 50 hours, the cleaning of the spindle and the counter spindle collets. We are doing that to ensure the best performance of the clamping devices. Before to perform the maintenance on the spindle collet, you have to activate a spindle setting mode. In the Tornos page, you will find ADV press on it. Then select Collet and Guide Bush Manager Input. In Collet, move with the right arrow to the Collet and Guide Bush setting. Activate this function with Alter. And now 
you have a message who confirm that the function is activated. Now you can open the door. Select Z1 axis. Move to Z. Select one and move to the function handle. And then you are able to move the spindle on the plus direction to the software limit. First step, loosen the nuts of the spindle with the dedicated tools received with the machine. Finish to loosen the nuts of the spindle by hand. And before to, to remove the collette, take out the sleeve together with the collet. Otherwise, it will be so difficult. And now you have a collet, you have the spring and the sleeve. All those ones can be cleaned outside of the machine. And make sure that all the ports are clean to avoid any problem of clamping due to the port dirty. And blow all the ports outside of the machine. And before to reinstall all those parts inside the spindle, make sure that there is no metal or dirty part material inside the inner of the spindle. Now we can move back to the working position by minus direction. And in the tonos page ADV, deactivate the collet setting by press Alter. Thank you for watching our preventive maintenance guide. I hope you pass a good time and have learned some new things. For the items we replaced during this maintenance, all the information you will need are in the link below. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.